You see this right here? That's going to be you. And I'll tell you why in a second. So we are here to talk about SQL or SQL. What is it and what is it all about? I want to attempt to read your minds. Now some of you guys are saying, and gals, hey, um, some of you guys and gals are saying, you know, what is your database for, man? If it's just to store your data, it sounds like a lot of complication for nothing. Because you can, and this is accurate, you can store, if it's just information, you can store it in a spreadsheet. Hopefully not a crooked one like this, because this is probably illegal. But um, you can store it in, in a, just a regular spreadsheet, right? You can have your heading, so you can say uh, for for every order. So you have a symbol, and we'll just abbreviate this. So sim for symbol, and then we can have uh, QTY for quantity, and then we can have uh, cum quantity for how many shares of the order have been executed. So that's our format. This we can have this in a spreadsheet. And then we can have each row. So order one is on IBM. Order two is on AAPL, our favorite stock. 100 shares, 10 shares. Uh, this has been executed completely. This has been executed halfway. What do you need a database for? There's your data right there. Well, a couple of reasons why you need a, a, a database, why you might need a database, because this is all fine and good for just you know two rows of data, but as time goes on and your company, your product, whatever it is grows, things can get a little crazy. Now this can be accessed pretty readily and pretty quickly. You can do searches within, searches within Microsoft Excel, no problem. But if this gets to be millions and millions of rows, um, you're going to have a huge file, and it's going to operate very, very slow, so you're going to take a huge performance hit. So one of the big reasons to use a database is because of expansion and scale. You want to be able to scale your application. You want to be able to scale your data. So as the data gets bigger and bigger and bigger, you're, you have a, a, a medium that can support that growth. Now, the other thing is... If you have a spreadsheet, you have, you know, I'm working on the spreadsheet, you know, this person has a copy of the spreadsheet, this person has a copy of the spreadsheet, these are all copies of the same spreadsheet. Now, this one has been modified and it has different data than this one has, this one's been modified again, so now we have three copies of the same information, which one's accurate, we don't know, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all over the place, it's crazy, there's also security as well, who has access to modify this, should John from the mailroom be accessing your order information. Now obviously in Windows you can secure things in different ways, but in a database you can secure the database in terms of who is able to modify, who's able to read, and you can track information, especially in trading, it's very important. During a support scenario, I went in and I removed something, uh, there was a duplicate execution, I, I manually removed it from the database. So for whatever reason, the environment I'm in, that's an environment where you do that kind of a thing. And I removed the wrong order. I want to know who did that. What happened here? Why is this missing? You know, with the database, we can see exactly which user logged into the database and modified what and deleted what. All that stuff is going to be tracked. So that is one of the most powerful things. You can scale it. You can secure it. And also, in terms of multiple people modifying it, you have a database that can be replicated. So you have a single copy. Now, other people can access it and modify it and whatever, but you have a single source copy that this is the truth. You don't have, oh, this one's updated, that one's not updated. You have a single record that has all your information. It's always up to date. Everyone always has the up-to-date information. So that's one of the powerful things, uh, one of the many powerful things about a database versus using a spreadsheet. All right? So I think that's that's pretty much wraps it up. I think by now you should have a good understanding of what SQL is all about, structured query language, and what do you use it for. But just as a final review, again, the database stores your data. The data is stored in the format of what we call tables. So database is all about data stored in a structured format of tables, which you define when you create the tables. When you create the tables, you define exactly the structure of those tables. Now the database stores the data and SQL comes in as the conduit between the database and the outside world, the outside world being you, the human. So you as a human, you want to be able to access the database, so this is how you look. Actually, considering how charming I am, you probably look more like this. 
That's horrible. Anyway, so um, so this is you. You want to access the information in the database. How can you do so? You can't talk to this because this is database software. It's not human readable. So you want to be able to either use a query tool where you can write the commands manual manually, like a command line type of deal, or you want to use an application which can generate those same queries uh, using a, a GUI. So, you, well, you can access those queries using a GUI. So in the GUI, you can, you can click on buttons, you can type in stuff, and then it, it'll format it into this SQL you know, syntax. Send that off to the database, so requesting information, inserting information, and then you know, going back and forth, you have that communication link. Or you can do it manually by using a, a um, SQL query tool like MySQL, so you can actually you know, manually type in on your keyboard your different commands, enter it here, insert, modify, retrieve, uh, you know, so you have all the ability to do all these things using the structured query language, which we now understand what it's all about and why it's important, and it's all thanks to me. That's why you are going to go click on that subscribe button. You're going to go and give me a thumbs up for the entertaining and informative video that I just put together for you guys. Pop quiz. Name two reasons why you should use a database as opposed to just using a uh, spreadsheet. Name two reasons. You have 30 seconds to answer that question. Good luck. All right. Did you get the answer correct? All right. Well, let's see. So the reasons why you should use a database as opposed to using a spreadsheet are because of being able to scale the database. We talked about that. So future growth, right? We also talked about being able to secure the database, who has access to it, right? And you're also tracking that. So you can see who accessed it and when and what they did. And also, you want to be able to replicate the database or be able to have multiple people accessing the database, modifying the database, but yet you have one central copy where everything is accurate. So you don't have, you know, like with a spreadsheet where different people are modifying it and this one's been modified, that one's modified. So you have all these unique copies. Which one's the correct one? Which one's the most up-to-date one? In the database, you don't have that issue. So hopefully you get those right. And um, without further ado, let's continue the video. Really appreciate you uh, watching the video and have a great day. And definitely subscribe because this is only part one. Part two, we're gonna go into a little bit more details than we did today. You're watching Carlisle Speaks Wall Street. You know what to do. Click on that like button. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Options are just like coupons. Sir, you know Bravo Alpha Delta Night. I have two great reasons why you should subscribe to this channel right now. What is the bid price? The Number one, because you want to learn all about trading and trading technology and not fall asleep and not get a headache. My videos make you smile and make you finally understand complex topics like no other. Number two, because rather than listen to me self-promote, you're going to take a look at what some of my viewers are saying about my videos. Don't take my word for it. The proof is in the pudding or the comments. Take a look. Options are just like coupons. Sir, you know Bravo Alpha Delta Night. I have two great reasons why you should subscribe to this channel right now. What is the bid price? The Number one, because you want to learn all about trading and trading technology and not fall asleep and not get a headache. My videos make you smile and make you finally understand complex topics like no other. 
Number two, because rather than listen to me self-promote, you're going to take a look at what some of my viewers are saying about my videos. Don't take my word for it. The proof is in the pudding or the comments. Take a look.